New tonight, plans for a multi-million dollar new sports complex in Fayetteville could be one step closer to reality. City Council members meet in less than an hour to talk about the plan to partner with Fort Bragg to make this all happen. CBS 17's Kayla Strayer is live with details from the proposed location for the complex. Kayla. Yes, yeah, so Fort Bragg owns all of this land. It's currently undeveloped. We're right off 295. If all goes as planned, the city says in about two years, this could become a sports complex for both the military and the public. This is the MacArthur Road Sports Complex master plan sent to us by the city of Fayetteville. Mayor Mitch Colvin says partnering with Fort Bragg would save the city millions because they wouldn't have to pay for the land. We think that's a great opportunity for us not to have to spend and purchase 90 acres of land uh, that the government is stepping up saying you can utilize ours. Mayor Colvin says the city would spend up to four and a half million dollars building baseball and softball fields here plus other amenities. It's right in the center of the city near 295 and it's close to Fort Bragg and I think it'll be an excellent Excellent uh, uh, tourist attraction. Not everyone agrees on the location. Councilwoman Shaquilla Ingram says people living east of the river are being forgotten about under the MacArthur Road plan. She wants the city owned property near I 95 and Fields Road to be developed instead. The city is considering other options for developing that area. Tonight, council is also voting on an agreement with Methodist University to use Jordan Soccer Complex. I think it's good for the city. Um, definitely, a lot of people use this, this park. This the city would invest more than one and a half million dollars in improvements, including adding lights. Being a military town, uh, a lot of folks like to be active, and so they just give folks more uh, outlets to uh, go out and be active and do things. City Council meets tonight at 7. We'll let you know what they decide on both of those projects. Reporting live in Fayetteville, Kayla Strayer, CBS 17 News.